Oh, yeah, another update, courtesy of the Frannica subreddit again. Brendan's now on his uh, Philly thing, it looks like, with the merch, with the with the clothing and the jersey stuff. I think I've asked this before on this podcast beforehand on this show. For all of my American listeners and watchers out there, is this normal to ha- to be a guy that's into sports um, and following the various you know major sports you have out there, baseball, basketball, American football, and to support so many different teams within the same different within all those different sports? Is that normal? I would assume if you're into sports, you might have a East Coast team, a West Coast team. You might have a team that you support in basketball that's different to the one in football, different to the one in baseball. But do you support all different ones like, and wear all their merch? Is that like a thing? Like, unironically. It is so bizarre. He seems to have every single piece of merch from literally every franchise. Even the... Who, what's, what's that American football team that's really terrible? Miami Dolphins. He even has Dolphin stuff. Like, everything. He seems to have everything. It's fucking crazy, bro. And the funny thing also about it is that he's not even like, he's not even like super into sports. I Again, from what I can see, he doesn't have that much knowledge on basketball. His football knowledge is pretty decent because he used to play it. Baseball is so-so. He's not even, it's not even like he's a barstool sports guy where like you can tell he legitimately spends every waking moment of his life just watching ESPN. He's not even like that. Like, I don't think that's the case. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. I find it really strange, but anyway, who knows? People saying he's a poser. Uh, Mandy Vieira saying no, especially if you're from New England. Eggy Mugo saying it's a franchise built on money, no loyalty. Uh, Mercia, home of the free. That's true. Maybe that's true. That's that's a good point. Um, your 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 teams aren't really built on sporting success. It's mostly money, isn't it? If they get sports success, it's all good. Brendan job there. Cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, let's continue. It's a clip from his show, The Shorb Show. The more you show that there's issues with it, the more support you're gonna get. It's like if you have a toxic Reddit that's been harassing you for six years, never said anything. You just assume ah, part of the game. It's not though. So what is this his new thing he's doing now? Hand movements and leaning into the Reddit and discussing it openly. He never did this purposely before. And you know what? This again, this is absolutely hilarious too. This all started because of a drug walk and because of a DM on New Year's Eve or Christmas whenever Kalila got that DM. And now it's turned into a, oh no, but those guys are bullying me on the internet. And now he's using this as a way to like, I think personally, this is like a... This is like a concert. This is like a what's that word called? This is like a um, what's that phrase people say? This is like a calculated move to make sure that they can get that subreddit shut down because it's happened before. Many subreddits get shut down sometimes through copyright strikes or other things or breaking TOS, whatever it may be on Reddit. But I think this is a an a a a a strategy that they now put in place where they find like a great opportunity to suddenly rid the internet of this amazing community that is the homeless cats on the fire and the kids subreddit. This is what I think it is because he is really leaning into this when again the issue is that you were disloyal or you know tried to slide in the DMs of your friend's wife and it led to these issues but now it's turned into like let me take down Reddit. Pretty bizarre but pretty clever. It's not there's hate, then there's harassment. And when you start addressing it and highlighting how negative and toxic and dangerous it is, well, then people go, hold up, dude. This ain't right. We got to do something about this. And then you get more support. It. The more you show that there's issues with it, the more support. Yeah, I guess you get more support, but I guess people start asking more questions too, innit? Why are they on there? Why are they hating? They start reading and start finding out that maybe they've got a point. Maybe they've got a point, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's right. Who really gives a shit when it comes to these sort of things? Another clip here again, courtesy of the Friday Kids subreddit. Let's get it up on the screen. Let me zoom out, make sure it's all fitting in there so you can see it there. Let's play this. Like, if I was getting hate because I was spewing hate, if I was saying Brian Cowan's yeah. the worst comic ever, fuck him. I've only been doing it six years. I'm better than him. Yeah, dude, you deserve all the hate you're getting. Yeah, you you signed up for this, buddy. You're the one criticizing other comics. Have you ever heard him criticize a comic? No. Have you ever? <laughs> it's funny. We we we've heard of you through Kalila calling other comedians to complain about women. Let's imagine what you must say about other male comics. Come on, man. Let's or other comedians in general who are in your profession. Come on. Lay off this stuff. And again, it, what do you guys think this is about? This little hand movement. 
What do you guys think this is? This, do you think this is something he's learned in therapy? Has he been watching YouTube videos about conflict resolution or de-escalation of issues and stuff? Or is this just like a, 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 um, a manipulation tactic that he's just found buried deep down inside of him? This whole open hand on the chest thing. That's not nice. Is that nice? That's not nice. Is that nice? Like, wh what is that all about? Clearly, it's a it's a, a tactic to to kind of gain sympathy and to make it seem as if like he's empathic or whatnot, isn't it? Right? <laughs> Hand on heart. I don't have a truck. <laughs> ah, I've got the best chat. Hand on heart. I don't have a truck. That's so good. <laughs> Yeah. That truck is not mine, officer. Honestly, I promise it's not mine. It's not mine. It's not mine. Oh, that's actually brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, big up the hand on heart. Big up the hand on heart, guys out there. When you lie, hand on heart. Right? When you lie. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did you pay for that? No. I, I didn't even know it was in there. <laughs> Ever heard me? talk gossip and go bad on anybody no. never when i have every right to especially now i could light some of these fucking terrible comics up who are judging me yeah. easily yeah. oh look at that he just said he doesn't judge people's comedy and now he's saying someone's terrible would you look at that in the same sentence my word cte flare up or is he just redacted god almighty in the same sentence I, have you, when have you had me, had me when have you ever heard me go bad in the comic i could light up these terrible comics Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. It's like, yeah, yeah MBK. No be mean. <laughs> that was brilliant. Big up Annie Lederman, man. No be mean. That was amazing. She drew it on a little bit of paper as well. Let's not be mean. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Another mention of the Reddit here again. Kurt said the Friday kiss. Let's see what he said here in this clip. I'm sorry for all these random clips I'm posting. There's no real rhyme or reason, but why not? Let's go through them. but you pay no attention because it, here's the, and now the caveat with this, and if I'm Dana, this would be, if he hears this and they're in the meeting on Thursday or Friday, when the fuck they do their meetings, there's no big fights this week. Right? Dana won't hear this. He hates you. Honestly, what is this cucking that he's doing to Dana lately? Brennan was one of the, the, the trailblazers in terms of leading the flipping Dana White is a piece of shit brigade, right? With the fighter pay, he allegedly, or one of the reasons why he quit the UFC was because of the bloody Reebok deal in the first place, right? He highlighted how much of a scumbag of a boss Dana White is. Maybe it's like how all promoters are, who knows? But Dana White is still unique in his level of scumbaggedness. And now all of a sudden, he's now turning into the biggest Dana White apologist in the world and clearly trying to suckle up to him and gain his sympathy and try to be friends with him again. If we know anything about Dana White, if we know anything about Dana White, if we know anything about this guy, he is the most petty, vindictive guy in the world. Once, you, once you're in his black book and he doesn't like you, it's over. He has sabotaged fighters' careers in some way, allegedly. I don't really know. Don't sue me. But fighters have suffered from the, from his, from the flipping um, consequences of crossing him. People who could legitimately kill him with his bare hands have suffered. How much more stuff are you, a podcaster now? He doesn't care what you have to say. He doesn't give a shit. He's surrounded by some of the most dangerous men and women in the world. And he still treats them like shit. Why would he care about what you have to say? But now he's turned into some, Brendan, some Dana White apologist. It's weird. So bizarre. I wonder what it... Maybe it's... Why do you think this guy... Why do you think it is? Do you think because Dana White's got a lot of money now? Because, I don't know, the UFC got sold to whatever company got sold to. However many millions and billions they got sold for. Why has he suddenly become a Dana White apologist? It's so bizarre. You can't tell the world that Dana White may or may not have been your um, Eskimo brother because he may or may not have slept with flipping, um, what's her name, Ronda Rousey, which which at the time could have jeopardized Dana White's marriage because I'm sure he's flipping married. And now suddenly you want to be his friend. Only in LA do people think that's okay. Slide in my girl's DMs and then we can also be friends. Expose that I might have cheated on my wife and we can sometimes be friends. Get out of here. Right. So when the team gets together, like, Hey man, we've listened to Shab. He's the best in the game. <laughs> I don't think he was say he'd be like, "You're fired. Get out." <laughs> but this is how I picture in my head. Hey, listen to the Shab show, man. Uh, yeah, you should subscribe, Thick Boy. Oh, he's special. Just went over a million days. <laughs> Big up Amy K. 
if Ali just completed the truck walk, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Amy, Amy's slaying. Look, Ali just needs to take one for the team. Just should have took one for the team, right? Did the truck walk and then came back with some research, came back with some findings. A, B, C, and D, whatever and ever, filled in the gaps. Is it big? Is it not? Was it good? Was it not? Do you know what I mean? That's all you need to be doing. Just do the job and then come back and report back. But look at what you've caused. You say no, you having standards, right? You not treating yourself like a skank. You not wanting to be regarded as some two-bit whore has now led to this, this nonsense. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why couldn't you just whore it up for a second, eh? Just let yourself go. Be like, you know what? Fuck it. It's a truck. It's white. It's got that new black interior. He's got a good sound system. It's got neon lights on the dashboard. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's. Do How bad could it really be? How bad could it really be? Let's just give it a go. Come on, Annie. Come on. You never know. He could get you booked on Just for Laughs. He knows Rogan. Okay, cool. You like Rogan, right? You want to be on Rogan? Yeah, come on. Let's go for the truck walk. Just do it. But no. Annie has standards. And he has class, right? <laughs> and he has standards in class. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, amazing. You've got class. You've got standards. You hold yourself up to a certain level. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. No fun. <laughs> I just can't get past the idea as well of saying to a girl, do you want to walk me to my truck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's like the that's like the that's like the horny level of like do you want a drink? I've never that's never maybe because I don't own a car, so I have to ask a girl to walk me to my bus stop or something. But I've never in my head that's been a thing to say to somebody. Even if you hook up with somebody, you end up hooking up with them in the toilet. You don't say do you want to walk me to the toilet. You just take them to the toilet or you go together. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you're like hey, would you like to walk me to the toilet so I could finger you in the cubicle? You don't say that, Jeremy. You, know you just like you just try and lead into that moment, but you don't like say hey. <laughs> truck walk me truck walk uh uh i can't talk but welcome to the truck can i get the truck walk anyway let's go yeah, yeah he's crashing <laughs> it, man. even though you've tried to kill him um yeah so he was saying that you've done all this stuff he's giving you so many compliments man then he went on this weird rant about how his streaks in his underwear at 39 uh sorry that's besides the point but he's saying to 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 leave your mark on the sport, you got to fix judging. That's the last thing you have to do before you sail off in the sunset and they build a statue of you. And uh, he made something up like he knows who's going to build the statue, but they're waiting till you fix judging. I don't I think he's full of shit there. His Reddit says he's full of shit. Anyways, so uh, you need to fix judges, what he's saying before you retire. Oh, he's trying to be funny. I was like, what is this? Why is he doing this whole like ramble thing? Uh, anyway, look. I, at least look I'm not going to begrudge the guy too tough at least he's trying I've been I've been bemoaning this guy for not trying to be funny and always trying to be serious and trying to talk like he's some sort of you know like he's got any idea on world issues and politics and all that stuff now he's trying to be funny I'll let him 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 do his thing but that's bizarre now he's trying to be Dana White's best friend alright buddy alright whatever <laughs> 